everybody, my beautiful spiritual family, whoever's tuning in. Um, welcome to day one of my 30 days and 30 ways to clear your energy. Um, I decided to do this kind of as an impromptu thing, mainly because I have noticed most especially recently um, with my family and I going through massive changes that clearing out energy on a regular basis is really important. Um, so I've kind of put together uh, about a month's worth of multiple different energy clearings, activations, different things that we might want to do on a daily basis to, you know, help clear ourselves, help keep ourselves in a place of clarity um, so that we can tune in and, and we can really kind of just live that heart-based life, which I know a lot of you are looking for um, and are probably doing relatively well most of the time. Um, why energy and why clearing it? You know, I think at the end of the day, in my opinion, every single health issue, um, physical problem, energy kind of blockage in terms of, you know, money, relationship, it's all energy. And if we can tune into where that blockage is, where the problem is and help to heal it, upgrade, release, transmute, whatever it is that we need to do to it we can actually create really amazing shifts and healing pretty instantaneously. Now, even when we do healing, there's still kind of, um, you know, changes that our bodies need to go through. We, we can shift something vibrationally, but our bodies still need to catch up because our bodies are quite dense, right? So as we heal things on an energetic level, that's fantastic. But then we also have to integrate that through our bodies over time. Um, and, I think such an important part of that is learning how to gain some skills um, and different techniques to kind of clear our energy on a daily basis, depending on what's showing up for you. So hopefully there'll be something that suits you in this 30 days. What I'm going to do is I'll put all the activations together um, and, and kind of offer them to you at the very end. Um, but I'll do these all live as we go anyway, just in case um, you just want to jump on it and do them as part of the video. So the first one I'm doing is just a really simple one and it's a grounding exercise. Now, a lot of people know grounding exercises. So if you know this one and you're really good at it, obviously you can skip this one. But if grounding is something that you struggle with, then this can be a really helpful thing to do. So the symptoms of not feeling grounded are things like feeling off with the fairies all the time, not feeling really grounded and, and focused. People are talking to you, but you're not really hearing them. You've got about 23 things different going on in your mind and you can't actually seem to focus. You feel a bit antsy. Um, you don't feel really kind of solid and safe in the moment. Um, and a lot of people who feel ungrounded don't feel like they're actually kind of even able to process emotion. Like they, they just kind of feel like they're not really there most of the time. And that can feel quite disconcerting. So the process of grounding is actually to really allow yourself to kind of fully sit and, and, and be embodied. And by that, I mean, allowing your soul energy to be all the way through your physical body so that you actually feel 100% present in the moment. You can sometimes feel a little bit heavier after it. Um, you can sometimes feel a little bit more of an intense sensation through the body. You can often feel a little bit of tingling through the body. But one of the main reasons that we jump out of our bodies or energetically separate from our physicality is whether we've been in trauma or sickness or stress, or we're just finding things a little bit overwhelming. A lot of people who suffer from ADD are constantly out of their body because they actually find it energetically quite difficult to be in. So if you do suffer from ADD, this might be something that could be helpful for you. And if there is kind of a, a part of you that always feels like you're never quite fully present in the moment, this is a really fantastic energy activation for you because it really helps to kind of call in some balance. So in this 30 days, I'm going to deal with all sorts of different energies from all sorts of different areas around the universe. And today I'm going to call on the elementals to help because I find that they are fantastic in grounding. And I'm also going to call on some dragon energy. So if this doesn't appeal to you, that's fine to skip over it. Um, but if it does tune in and, and I'll help you do that in a minute. So I'm going to record all of these, um, 
separately, like I said. So you can have the actual activation as a separate thing um, if you want it. And then, and you know, if not, you can just do it as part of the video. That's totally fine. Okay, so I'm just going to jump into this now. Okay. So we're just going to ask for you to really kind of get into your body, into the space. And I'm going to get you to put your hands on your heart space and just allow yourself to really connect in to the moment. Taking a giant five second breath in, allowing your nervous system to slow down. And taking a big five second breath out, keeping your hands on your heart space to start to entrain your heart to your mind. Take a giant five second breath in. And breathing out. We're going to do one more of those to allow yourself to really connect into the moment. And we're going to ask for your spiritual team of the light to come in and just hold space for you. Allow yourself to feel safe and calm and relaxed in your own body. We're going to allow your nervous system and your digestive processes to calm and enter a parasympathetic state so that your body can feel at peace and safe now. We're going to call on the six Archangelics to hold six directions who help us in our processes. Michael, Gabrielle, Raphael, Uriel, Sandalphon and Metatron to hold six directions and hold this beautiful space of safety and belonging in your body. We're also going to call on the beautiful energy of the gnomes, the earth element to come in and allow us to ground our energy, allow us to feel safe in our bodies and allow our souls to be completely embodied in every cell, tissue and organ of our bodies right now. Allowing your body to completely allow this to happen and have trust and safety all the way through into the earth, allowing the gnomes to come in and earth you, connecting your beautiful body energy, your soul energy into your earth star sitting about a meter below the surface of the planet. We're going to allow the beautiful fire energy to really fire up the ground chakra, allowing you to feel safety and belonging in your body, allowing you to really feel safe. We're going to fire it up through the heart space as well, allowing your body to stay nice and strong and balanced in this space. Allowing the salamanders to create this balance in your body and around your body. We're also going to ask for the beautiful energy of the undines to come through for the water element to flow any emotions that are stuck that are keeping you out of your body and allow them to flow and flow and flow so that your body can actually feel safe and grounded right now. Any emotions, any issues, any problems, just let them flow, flow, flow. Coming through the top of the head, through the body and out the feet into the earth, allowing a constant loving flow of energy. We want to allow the air element to create beautiful connection in and amongst your auric fields and between you and other people so that there is a beautiful, energetic and peaceful flow of energy between you and others. And allowing that safety to remain so that this groundedness is easy and calm for you. We're also going to ask for your beautiful dragon, whoever your dragon is, if you can note and feel and see your dragon coming up from the middle of the earth. Call on your dragon. If you never have before, that's okay. Just call on your beautiful personalized dragon to help you. Check out the color, the energy, the face. This is a beautiful ninth dimensional energy to hold you in a space of complete calm and balance. And this dragon energy is just very gently and very beautiful, beautifully brings up his feet through the center of the earth, up through the surface of the earth, and then very gently holds onto the top of your feet. 
and allows you to ground even more firmly onto the planet. Allowing beautiful energies like tree trunks coming out the bottom of your feet all the way down, 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 past your earth star, down deep into the earth, into the roots of the tree of life right into the centre of the earth, being completely and totally balanced through the elementals, your dragon energy and the archangelics of the light with your beautiful spiritual team of the light holding space for you this whole time. Allowing all of this energy to come through, allowing you to feel safe and balanced. We ask for all of your helpers to stay in place for as long as you need for you to stay balanced, grounded and safe. We thank each and every one of your helpers, the Archangelics, your spiritual team of the light, the elementals and your dragon. Allowing yourself to stay in your body and process whatever you need to through your body today with ease and grace. And whenever you're ready, wiggle your fingers and toes and open your eyes. Okay, I hope that was helpful. I certainly feel a bit more grounded myself. Um, I'm deliberately going to make all of these quite short so that you don't have to spend an hour a day doing this. I hope that that was really nice and grounding and balancing for you and that you feel safe and supported in that energy. And I will see you tomorrow for the next activation.